Although defensive equipment has decreased since the introduction of modern firearms and artillery, it's never been entirely gone, and the Russian military has been steadily developing the next generation of combat armor for soldiers to start using by 2030. The futuristic-looking armor, simply dubbed Sotnik or the Centurion Combat System, can turn any soldier into a one-man army. Sotnik will provide soldiers with thermal and night vision, anti-radar and anti-thermal protection, electrochromic material that can blend the suit with the surface, and body armor that can stop 50 caliber rounds. The suits seem to have come out of a science fiction film, but they are a reality, and elite special forces of the Russian Federation may even begin using them sooner than expected. The Evolution of Armor War has always been part of the history of mankind, and as warfare evolved, weapons and countermeasures closely followed. When prehistoric men began using spears and bows for hunting prey and subjugating other tribesmen, the living civilizations needed to find a way to protect themselves from these primitive weapons. Some tribes then developed a rudimentary leather armor made from the remains of animals such as mammoths or wolves, amongst other prey and predators. The shield, made primarily of wood and covered with additional layers of leather, became an essential tool for the first infantrymen. As time went by, metallurgy was discovered, and the first bronze swords, spear tips, and arrowheads became the next evolution of warfare. Likewise, defense equipment evolved, and bronze plates were sewed to leather armor to provide more cover and block missiles. Thick and heavy bronze armor then became the pillar of heavy infantry and cavalry, while scale armor made of both metal and leather was used by light infantry forces. During the Roman hegemony in the Middle Ages, chainmail and armor plates extended throughout Europe from the first century before Christ up until the 18th century. Since then, armor almost disappeared as it provided no protection against artillery and more advanced firearms. Still, during World War I and World War II, all major powers developed heavy armor plates used by machine gun units or grenadiers. Although they proved to be very effective at stopping bullets, they were cumbersome and ineffective for mobile units, as was the case with the Suppenpanzer armor employed by German units. However, almost a hundred years later, American, British, French, and Russian militaries have revived the concept of combat armor to develop the next generation of defensive equipment with the latest technological innovations. A new type of Russian armor. In early 2018, details leaked about Russia's military industry working on a sophisticated powered exoskeleton codenamed Rutnik, or Warrior Combat System. The alleged Rutnik system comprises more than 40 distinct components. These include a new helmet system, ballistic vests, camouflage, revamped radio equipment, anti-mine boots, and other technological innovations. Similar to the French soldier system, Feline, Rutnik revamps the effectiveness of combat for the ordinary Russian soldier. Upgrades range from body armor, navigation devices, power supply, and life support systems, while the reinforced fiber fabric of polymeric compounds is designed to protect the user from fire, splinters, and ballistic shrapnel. The uniform is also fitted with special sensors that transmit information to medics about the user's physical condition, including heart rate, respiratory rate, blood oxygen saturation monitoring, and others. If a soldier is injured during combat or does not move for a minute, medics are immediately notified of their status to provide immediate care. The armor itself protects 90% of the soldier's body and weighs approximately 20 kilograms, while its revolutionary helmet weighs 1 kilogram and can stop shots from a distance of 10 meters. In addition, the helmet includes a thermal camera and a visor with a live video sniping device that consists of a friend or foe system that works with a sensor attached to the uniforms of friendly forces to distinguish them from enemy combatants. The Rutnik uniform also includes a strelitz or musketeer system that enables soldiers to communicate through audio and video. Combined with a GLONASS navigation module located near the soldier's shoulder, it enables squad leaders to see the location of their men, give them orders, and send video and photographic evidence directly to headquarters for optimal battlefield coordination. 
military also introduced the first army exoskeletons to specific army units to simplify tasks related to carrying heavy loads, removing the load from the spine, or helping the soldiers walk long distances. The future. Russian command expects to integrate the Ratnik system and the first exoskeletons to most of its military units by 2025. However, that did not stop Moscow from immediately beginning the development of the next generation infantry combat system. Called Sutnik or Centurion, this modernized version of the previous combat armor seems taken out of a futuristic movie reminiscent of Starship Troopers. The main changes in this prototype armor include an electronically controlled chameleon material developed by the Rose Electronica company. This electrochromic material can easily change the armor's color depending on the surface or ambience in which the soldiers are operating. According to Sergei Abramov, the Rostex Corporation spokesman, quote, possibly there will be some robotized systems integrating artificial intelligence with human capabilities. Research is in progress into using powered exoskeletons, micro drones, and new weapons. With the enhanced capability to mask the users from thermal or radio imaging, these suits of armor could make every soldier a one-man army. And that's not all. Rostec announced in early 2021 that it's still working on the next body armor that would be incorporated into the Century and Combat system. According to the company, this new suit of armor would be able to stop 50 caliber rounds, the same rounds used to tear through armored vehicles. Although armament experts are skeptical about this alleged armor capacity given the sheer lethality of these rounds, other experts do consider it a possibility. The main difference between a 50 caliber and a 7.62 millimeter round lies in the amount of energy transferred into the target. A 50 caliber slug impacts with five times more energy than a rifle round, and Rushdeck claims that their armor will also contain shockproof components to neutralize the effects of a 50 caliber round, such as blunt trauma injury. Additionally, the vest provides extra lateral protection and anti-shrapnel protection for the groin, hands, and shoulders. To further enhance the abilities of the soldier, the Rotnik III combat gear will integrate a fully functional exoskeleton that will enable him to carry heavy equipment without affecting his overall movement and flexibility. These exoskeletons are mobile machines powered by a system of electric motors, levers, hydraulics, and pneumatics that greatly increase the strength and endurance of every soldier. In addition, they work thanks to a series of sensors that analyze the motions of the soldier and automatically send a signal to the motors in specific areas to trigger the gears. For example, if the soldier begins to run or lifts heavy loads, the exoskeleton will automatically analyze which parts of the exosuit must be triggered. Another upgrade in the new suit includes a revamped helmet visor with a tactical system of micro unmanned aerial vehicles in which the camera stream will be directly projected to the visor and help coordinate team maneuvers and orders. For the time being, the Russian Centurion armor is currently under testing, alongside the exoskeleton components, to allow soldiers to carry the armor and equipment relatively easily. Still, with technology advancing more every day, it may not be long before the world's militaries start introducing their new generation of Iron Man super soldiers ready to wage a new type of war. Thank you for watching my video. Please like and subscribe to our Dark Documentaries channels to find more exciting historical content and armament news. And let us know in the comments below what you think of the latest iterations of Russian combat armor. Do you think the military will be able to produce futuristic armor similar to those that are portrayed in popular action films?